I'm here with Jim Ketchuside, who is product manager for Pioneer, and you've got a very compelling demonstration here, the plasma versus LCD. Maybe you can explain this uh, to our readers and our viewers what went into this study, because it's, in a, public, it's a public study done yep. by a number of manufacturers. Uh-huh. Okay, Bob. Um, basically, yeah, we uh, we commissioned a report together with uh, actually initially one manufacturer, Panasonic, obviously a much bigger company than Pioneer. Uh, and basically, uh, we commissioned this report with an independent company called Cinevate Research in Europe. The, re- the report was studied across Europe. It was done in various cities across Europe. And basically, we ended up with a report that showed about 650 respondents' reactions to plasma technology versus LCD technology in different lighting conditions and ambient lighting conditions throughout the home. And basically, the result of that report was generally 70% of the respondents 70%? came out in favour in nearly every attribute, uh, whether it be resolution, contrast ratio, etc., in uh, supporting plasma technology. So basically, that's what this is about. We're not saying plasma TV is better. You are. The consumer is. Um, because obviously, that's what the survey's shown us. And this campaign now, we've been joined by Hitachi as well. I mean, it's interesting to note that Panasonic actually obviously make LCDs and plasma TV screens. They make both. So they've actually had to do a press release as well to explain to people that although they're saying plasma is better, they've had to obviously explain why they're saying that. And they believe that LCD technology today is great for bright ambient light conditions. And this is one of the drawbacks. Its key attribute is its brightness. It relies on a backlight, which means it can be very, very bright. Uh, in, it's a, in a condition where you don't have complete home cinema in a, in a dedicated room, for yeah. example, or something like that. Or the problem is in a shop. Right. where the lighting conditions tend to be 150 lux above lighting conditions in a big retail store. And LCDs look very good in those bright conditions. The problem is we don't live in them at home. And generally speaking, looking at 150 lux or even lower, I mean, I turn my lights down <laughs> when I watch a movie. Most people do. And the problem is when you do that, the shutters that LCD relies on, remembering it's a transmissive display technology, plasma is an emissive display technology. Mm-hmm. It's reliant on cells to create their own individual light and colour mm-hmm. and grayscale. This is reliant on shutters to control that amount of grayscale and light. And the problem is when you lower the lighting levels in your living room, and I've, I've even had people in at the show <laughs> today who've bought a competitor's product like this, an LCD product, got it home once they watched it in the evening, they took it back to the store the next day. Because once you've crushed the black level, you'll notice you get a lot of noise in the black level, you, it, you've got lots of solarisation going on, and in this case, this is even a higher resolution screen than the panel we're looking at here. So the, our, our viewers on the web will not be able to really see a whole, whole yep. lot of difference, but up close like this, is, it's, it's quite obvious, yep. in fact. Yep. And even now, we turn the lights up for your camera, and you can still see the differences in contrast. The uh, contrast level on the one on the right has obviously dropped down dramatically now. And once you've crushed that black level, you've crushed the colour gamut. So you've now crushed your pinks, your reds, your white. Everything's been ruined. Reds on the image now, for example, have turned pinky colour. The whole thing's washed out. Now, the other key thing is, as I say, that's its strength is its brightness. It's also its greatest weakness with LCD. And with plasma technology, as I say, its strength is it can maintain high contrast levels, even in low ambient lighting conditions. It maintains it. In fact, it gets blacker when you put there it in There we go. There, there's a, there's now, this a, is there's the next a very thing. good example, in fact. Very bright on the, again, very bright on the competitor's LCD product there. This is a test pattern. You'll notice when we move the test pattern, you can still read the resolution on the plasma technology, on the plasma screen. You can't read the scale and the numbers and the, and the uh, lines between the rulers on the LCD panel. And that's because of this motion, or the, the, the motion video, this runs at a very low response speed. They're improving, but then again, so are these. This is under two milliseconds, this is around eight. And the problem is, and again, we're actually campaigning at the moment with these manufa- the other manufacturers to actually try and get a motion resolution standard. Because the big problem is people worry about static resolution numbers. And they see, for example, this 1024 by 768, and then they compare it to something like this that's 1920 by 1080, and they think that that's the higher resolution. What they really should be worried about is when it's moving. Because if you're going to use it as a computer monitor, then great. But as soon as you put motion video on it, the problem is, as you saw there with the test patterns, that drops down to about 300 lines. This maintains about 900 lines. So, so that's not really even HD. So what you're saying is, in some, some conditions, the bigger and bigger resolution is not necessarily no, better. Not always. No, for we've, sure. heard, we've heard that before yeah, he did the show. For sure. <laughs> Well, Jim, thank you very much. If our readers want more information, they're going to be able to download this documentation and the study on the line on your site, and you'll be giving us a copy of that. There's a link on our website to go to it, and indeed, we're giving out these documents to show you. Go direct to Cinevite's site and read the report. Jim, thank you. It's been a pleasure. Rather provocative. Thank you very much. Cheers.